In this video we're going to take a look at mean, median, and mode. All three of these are referred to collectively as measures of central tendency and where we use one number to represent a set of numbers. So how do we find each of those things? Well to find the mean, mean is often referred to as the average. Okay, Many times you might hear somebody say, oh the average is this what they're really talking about is the mean. Well how do we find it? We add up all of the numbers so we add all the numbers and then divide by the number that there are in the set. So divide by however many how many are in the set. Okay. So that's how we'd find the mean, also known as the average. The median, what we need to do to find the median is first put our set of data in order. And it really could be from least to greatest or greatest to least, it doesn't matter, but it needs to be in order because what we're looking for is the middle number. Now, if there's an odd number of values in our data set, the middle number will just be a number but if we have an even number so let's say for example we had one two two ah, that's not a good example how about one two four and five okay and we're find the median well let's see the middle would be right here huh okay what we have to do when there's not an exact middle number then we have to take the average of the two that are closest to the middle. So in this case, I would take 2 plus 4, which would be 6, divided by 2. So the median for this set would be 3. So uh, just be aware of that. If there's not an actual middle, then we need to take the average of those numbers that are closest to the middle. So let's get that out of here. So it's the middle or the average... of the two closest to the middle. Okay, then the mode. The mode is the value that occurs most frequently in the data set. So if typically there's going to be some number that shows up more than once and so we look for that and there can be more than one mode so let's say for example there's a set and a certain number shows up twice and then there's another number that also shows up twice all the rest of them just are there once well then there would be two modes also if there are no numbers that repeat then there's no mode so it's the mode is the number that shows up the most it, there can be more than one or there might be none depending on the situation okay and we'll take a look at uh, a number of different examples here and and see what's happening so Let's take a look at some examples and find some mean, medians, and modes. All right. This first one at the top here, we have our data set. And we'll start by finding the mean or the average. So what I need to do is add up the data values. And then I'm going to divide by the number that there are in the set. So 3 plus 10 is 13, plus 2 is 15, plus 8 is 23, plus 7 is 30 plus 5 is 35, plus another 5 is 40, plus 2 is 42. Okay, so I have 42 as my total. Then how many numbers am I working with in the set? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I'm going to take 42 and divide it by 8. If I grab my calculator and figure out what that is quick, 42 divided by 8 is going to be 8 point, or excuse me, 5 point so that's the mean of that set. Now, to find the median, 
the first thing that we need to do is put the values in order okay we can't just look at it and say oh these are the two in the middle must be the average of those two we have to put it in order first so as I look at this looks like two is the smallest so two and I've got another two I'm just gonna draw a line through them to make sure I don't forget any two Let's see the next smallest we've got three then we've got two fives there then we've got a seven an eight and a ten seven eight and ten I've got them all accounted for so here's my set in order from least to greatest okay now I look and I want the middle numbers there's eight of them so there's gonna be four on either side so right here is my middle well there's no specific middle number so what I need to do is look at the two on either side of the middle in this case it's five and five well they're the same so the median in this case is just gonna be five so five is the median and remember you could also add them up and divide by two and we end up with five there as well then finally to find the mode I go ahead and look for the ones that occur most often in this case I've got two twos and I've also got two fives so my mode is going to be two and five okay so we found our three different measures 5.25 for our mean by adding them up and dividing the median we put them in order found the middle and then the mode we look for the one that occurred most often alright let's look at this next set in this one again my first step to find the mean is going to be to add them up so 11 plus or excuse me 12 plus 11 is 23 then this would be 40 um, 43 plus 9 would be 52 uh, 66 7 82 and 84 is my total there so 84 divided by 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 there's also 8 in that set divide that out we end up with I believe we're gonna get 10 and a half just double check I don't want to goof anything up here 10.5 yep okay so 10.5 is my mean again adding and then divide by the number in the set next to find the median have to go ahead and put them in order so start by putting them in order well three is the smallest oops three is not the smallest two is the smallest let me back up and get that correct here so 2 is our smallest value so 2 then 3 2 and 3 then we've got 9 got that one then we've got 11 12 14 16 and 17 I think we got them all alright good then to find the median I look for the middle okay so there's eight in this set so the middle is gonna be with four on either side so right here then okay there's not the same number on both sides so I need to find the average of those two so 11 plus 12 is 23 divide that by 2 and I end up with a median of 11.5 because I had to find the average of those two so it's 11.5 or halfway between those two finally the mode I look for repeating values well this set doesn't have any repeating values so in this case there would be no mode there's none because there are no values that repeat alright let's look at this last one right down here again add them up to find our, media, our mean so 4 plus 7 is 11 plus 18 would be 29 30 36 37 47 that would be 50 65 uh, 69 and finally 77 so 77 you're going to divide by however many we have in our set 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 in that set so 77 divided by 11 don't need my calculator for that 
we end up with a mean of 7. Okay, then median. Hopefully you're seeing the pattern here. Start by putting them in order. So 1, 1, then 3. Looks like we've got two fours going here. Four, four. Then, let's see, six, seven. Any other? Oh, there's eight. Then, let's see, ten, fifteen, and finally eighteen. Ten, fifteen, and eighteen. We got them all. Okay, now, median. In this case, we have 11, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's going to be 5 on either side. And I'm going to switch colors here just to kind of show what's going on. There's 5 there, 5 on this side. So my median value actually exists in a set right here in the middle. Notice again how there's 5 on this side, 5 on this side. The middle one is 6. So my median going to be 6. Finally, the mode, value that occurs most often. In this case, again, we have 2 that repeat. 1 and 4 both repeat. So my modes are going to be 1 and 4. Alright, mean, median, and mode, measures of central tendency. The mean, remember, is often referred to as the average. We add up all the values and divide by however many are in the set. The median is the middle and or the average of the two closest to the middle if there's an even number in the set and finally the mode is the one that occurs most often there can be more than one if there's multiple numbers that occur most often in the set or there can be none if there are no repeating values hope this video was helpful keep working hard on your math and I know you'll do great